Over the course of the last four and a half years, I became a full-time content creator covering mobile games, primarily Rise of Kingdoms and now also Call of Dragons. And in this video, I want to teach you how you too can become a content creator either on the side for fun or full-time. And I've got to give big shout outs and thank you to the makers of Call of Dragons who are actually sponsoring today's video. They want you to be a content creator and they want you to sign up to be a creator through their portal to get special benefits, which includes access to art assets and more. So in this video, we're going to do the following things. First and foremost, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about my journey and how I became a full-time content creator. From there, I'm going to give you some guidance around should you maybe be a content creator on YouTube or the platform of your choosing? And then we'll talk very briefly about some of the base mechanics, things like, do you want to use a webcam or maybe something a little more fancy? How is it that you actually are recording this Chiss School using special software or do you just record on your phone and then upload and more? So we'll get into the actual mechanics. And lastly, we'll cover how you can sign up in the official Creator Zone portal to potentially get sponsored for games like Call of Dragons, Rise of Kingdoms, and more. So let's start this off with my journey, and to do that, I want to take you into my war room, and we'll talk about these different scenes that I'm showing you in a bit when we talk more about how to actually make video. So I'm going to jump between scenes now, now I'm in front of the table, now I'm behind the table, and I'm just going to share with you my story really quickly about how I became a content creator. Because the idea that I would have a scene like this with members of my channel whose photos are displayed on my background over here is really wild to me. Because I was originally just playing lots of games. And I played a bunch of mobile games. And at one point, I saw an advertisement for Rise of Kingdoms from a content creator I really liked. I checked it out and I saw, I kid you not, in an official forum for Rise of Kingdoms, an advertisement saying, hey, we'd like to encourage some people to be content creators. So I was like, all right, sure, I'll sign up. They said, no experience required. You can start from scratch if you want. Pitch us. is a. It was basically a idea. And so I pitched them. I actually wrote a business plan um, where I said, here is what I would do as a content creator. And then I went and I started doing it. So I applied. A couple weeks later, I had a conversation with someone representing their team who uh, was, I think, impressed with the business plan I had put together. And then they said, okay, yeah, we'll sponsor your videos. We'll sponsor your channel. Now, um, that doesn't mean they were sponsoring literally every one of my videos, but um, it meant that I started to have access to things like uh, art assets that are really valuable and more. And so I went and I was creating then daily videos and the channel grew and grew and grew. I became very consistent in how often I would post every single day uh, until I hit it was just honestly very surprising. I mean, my first couple hundred su subscribers was a big deal. And now I have a couple hundred thousand subscribers and it's been a crazy journey. Um, there have been pros and there have been cons to that journey. So let's start with how you can become a content creator and should you become a content creator. Um, and the first thing I want you to do, this is an exercise. You can actually pause the video and do this if you want, um, is to write down 20 video ideas. If you are interested in being a content creator, you should have a pretty easy time coming up with 20 different videos you could make. Now, that might sound a little weird, but look, I have been making daily videos about Rise of Kingdoms, um, just about, with very few exceptions, for over four years now, okay? So one of the key skills to being a content creator is to actually be pretty good at coming up with ideas for videos. You don't have to make a single video. Just start by writing down 20 ideas. What would you do? And I'll give you a few tips for this, right? There's things like commander guides. There are things like rankings um, of commanders, of artifacts, of uh, different factions. I mean, you could rank just about anything in a game, right? If you can come up with 20 ideas, then you make it, congratulations, you've graduated to step number two, okay? Step number two is to actually record a video and to not let anything stop you from actually recording a video. Now, this can be really, really simple to start. You can literally just use your phone, hit record, capture your voice as well using your phone, assuming you've got a smartphone that's pretty solid, and that's good enough and you can just upload it, okay? 
My first videos were so basic, let me show this to you. Here we are in YouTube, and I did a search for Chiss School How to Teleport, because I remember that some of my first videos were about teleporting, and you can see the thumbnails I make for my videos have come a really long way, and so the first thing I wanna say is, yes, there's a lot that you can do to make your video present nicely, okay? Things to spruce up, the look of your, your camera, if that's what you're doing, a scene if you choose to have one in the background, and all these other things like a thumbnail that might attract people to your video. But when I started, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have a bunch of fancy stuff, okay? I used free software to make my thumbnails. The product I was using is called Canva. Things change really quickly, right? But you can do a search for free thumbnail maker, and I'm sure you're gonna find plenty of guidance, especially on YouTube, for what you'd need to do to make something. But the thing is, you don't need anything fancy at all. And I really just want to encourage you to start and just publish. Publish something. Something, it doesn't even matter all that much what you publish. But on the platform of your choosing, whether it's TikTok or YouTube, okay? Start by making videos with no excuses as to actually just getting them done and getting them out there. Here we are in one of my scenes that I've created in a tool called OBS. And when you're ready to upgrade your production quality, one of the first things you'll be looking at is running OBS on your computer. OBS essentially lets you create a scene, and that scene is what people will ultimately see. It's a combination of many different sources. Like right now, I've got my iPad playing Call of Dragons, okay? I've also got a camera, which is adding me into the scene in this particular location because I've chosen that. Um, and all of these things, by the way, I can move around and customize. And there are very detailed guides about OBS that will cover just far more in depth than I think I would do justice in this video. But, you know, just to show you, right, like I can literally move myself around the scene. And that's the point. You create the scene in exactly the way you want. And OBS is free and offers a powerful amount of support and customization. And there's tons of people making videos about how to use OBS. This would be my recommendation for one of the first things you learn how to use if you want to improve the quality of your videos. Now, from there... I think it's very important that you get a great microphone. The best one that you wanna shell out money for, okay? And you know, hey, you don't need to spend a lot of money to get started. I hope I've really emphasized that. A lot of people will try to use money and gear as the bottleneck to their getting started. That is a tragic error. Don't do that. But when you are on a roll with your videos and you're like, I wanna upgrade my audio, um, spending a couple hundred bucks on audio is probably the very best thing that you can do. And I've been to a number of presentations where they illustrate this because look, like if I take away my video, yeah, I mean, it kind of sucks to not see me, but as long as my voice is coming through loud and clear, I can talk about what I'm doing and you'll probably follow along just fine. There are plenty of content creators who don't show their face at all, but showing your face will level up your game. That's why, however, the microphone is key and the camera is not as important. So first thing you spend money on, if that's what you're gonna do is a microphone, having a great dedicated microphone will go a long way. There are a couple recommendations I will give you at the time of this recording, they're pretty good. Things like the Blue Yeti and the Wave 3 microphone are very popular. This is not a gear video, so I won't go in depth. And also there are some very basic 4K web cameras, whichever one, is really popular at, at the time will sort of change around. So you can do a search for 4K cameras on whatever site you want to, to find gear and boom, you can get set up with a camera. Ideally it's USB, plugs into your PC really easily and you're good to go. Now once you start to do higher quality video like I'm doing right now, I have a really fancy camera that requires a special capture card in order to be able to get the video into the PC in real time so that I can live stream with a super high quality camera. But that sort of stuff can take a really long time to set up and all of that again should not be a barrier to your getting started. And this video is just about getting started. Now, one thing you might need, however, to get started um, is if you want to play on uh, a mobile device as opposed to on your PC, then you're going to need a capture card you're gonna need some cabling to then connect your device to your PC like I'm showing you here. Um, so I've got a device that's USB-C 
to HDMI, then I've got an HDMI cable, and that goes to a capture card in my PC, which is specifically dedicated to making um, things like my iPad come through nice and clear, okay? Um, there are a number of sites that have capture cards. I'll reference Elgato as one of the companies that makes these, but there are many companies that puts together really great products for getting whatever's on your iPad or Android tablet or smartphone into your PC for a scene just like this. Of course, my strong recommendation is that you consider using the PC client available for Call of Dragons. And I know Rise of Kingdoms also has a great PC client available from their websites. And I'll have the link down below in the description if you wanna go check those out. My preferred way to stream, and it's not even close, is now using the PC version of Call of Dragons and the PC version of Rise of Kingdoms. And I used to stream extensively. I mean, 12 hour plus streams from my iPad. It's not even the same universe, man. PC client is in my opinion, the freaking way to go. The final equipment that can make just a really huge difference in the quality of your presentation is actually going to be lighting. And as weird as that sounds, Lighting goes a long way. Let me just turn off my lights and show you just how much worse it looks. So here I am with only the ambient lighting from the room, and it's not nearly as good, okay? But it ain't bad because I have a really nice camera. The worse your camera is, the more important your lighting is actually going to be. And there's one other thing I've done that I can actually show you here, which is that I'm standing in front of a giant green sheet, aka a green screen, okay? And I can turn off the filter for that. What you'll see when I turn this off, okay, is that the uh, green screen makes a big difference here. Um, I used to just record in literally my kitchen, uh, kitchen dining room, okay? It was my dining room. Um, and it was kind of a pain to set up. Now I have a dedicated studio, right? Um, with the green screen, it's just a giant, it's just a giant sheet, man. Um, <laughs> there are special green screens you can get if that's what you wanna do. Um, but I'm just gonna turn that green screen back on real quick. Okay, that's one thing you can do that I think adds sort of a nice effect so that you can really kind of be in the game. Now I'm gonna turn my lights back on and we'll go to the creator zone, which provides you a bunch of tools if you wanna get started creating content. Okay, so here we are at the creator zone and hopefully I've convinced you that being a content creator might be a cool idea. And if you're playing a game made by, for example, the developers of Call of Dragons or Rise of Kingdoms, they've got this creator zone set up to help you as a content creator make better content. And there's a number of ways that they do that. I'll just scroll down the page and quickly highlight some of the things that I find most beneficial by being a part of the creator zone. And those things include, for example, access to really high quality art assets for the games that they make. That includes access to um, a Discord server where you can post your content. This is a big deal. And the title says support and exposure, but it's true by posting in the a dedicated content creator channel. You definitely get more views than you might have otherwise. There is also a creator community. So if you wanted to collaborate with other folks, you can find them very easily. Um, and as you create your account and make content, you'll progress through a series of tiers, starting with Apprentice and all the way up to Partner, which is where ultimately you have the possibility of getting sponsored for videos that you make. Now, I will just highlight for a moment, the goal shouldn't necessarily be to get sponsored, the goal should be to make the best videos possible. And along the way, hopefully so many people are watching your videos that you get sponsorship opportunities that pop up. Um, now, there are a couple other things that they show here. <laughs> I don't, the star creators, man. I don't think of uh, myself as a star creator, although I probably should provide a different headshot. It looks like an actual headshot is what's in, not my avatar. Uh, so, you know, maybe I'll... I'll send a new picture here. Now, at this point, if you're ready to sign up uh, for the Creator Zone, hit the sign up button in the upper right, or you can hit the Join Creator Zone button you see on the screen here. I'm gonna log in and give you the quick tour. Okay, here I am signed in to the Creator Zone portal. And there's a number of things I'll call your attention to. First of all, the art assets I was mentioning are on the screen. In addition, there's important game update information available on the left. Now, at the time of this recording, that's pretty much everything that players also have access to. Although my hope would be that at some point, maybe we get access to some things a little bit early and then we all release videos at the same time when the information becomes public so we can make really nice thought through videos. Uh, but the game feed includes important information about the games that you're playing, okay? In addition, 
One section I want to show you where I really haven't done anything yet is that you can upload your content to start to get credit for the total views um, of, of your content, the total likes, the total comments, and the total number of videos that you've made. And this ultimately will be the sort of information uh, the makers of the Creator Zone look at to determine whether or not you advance to another tier. So to go and do that, you go to the My Content section, you upload content, and you very simply drop the URL of the video right in here, and then boom, you're good to go. There's also the Upload Content button down here takes you to the same place. So whether you want to take content creation really seriously, which is the route that I went, or you just want to make a few videos here and there, I think that signing up for the Creator Zone is a good way to go. And you can use the link in the description to check it out to see both all of the games that are covered and to get started with your sign up. And if you needed any convincing at all for how tremendously simple and humble your beginnings can be, I will include two cards in the end screen, which are my very first videos on YouTube that are so basic. And you'll see, wait a minute, I could do that. This is achievable. I hope that you'll get started making content and good luck.